Yeah, so the AC72 is not very different to this boat at all. The only difference is, is it's a catamaran, so you've got foils on each hull. But basically, if you took a rudder of a 72, it's about this size. You know, it's just a simple foil, and you know, they're obviously a lot stronger than these because you're lifting a seven ton boat instead of a 30 kilo boat. So the difference with the moth is we don't rake the board back and forward because you know the boats are so light you don't have that much weight to add to them. So what we do instead of you know raking this board back and forward we just have the flap on the back. But what we do is with the rudder is we change the angle of the rudder. If we weren't able to adjust the rudder angle at all on the moth you couldn't foil properly. You would foil around bow up upwind and bow down downwind. So we have a simple worm screw inside the tiller extension and you twist the tiller extension which changes the lift on the rudder. Now the biggest difference between a moth and a 72 is that you're not allowed to adjust your rudder angle at all. So you're sailing around only being able to adjust one of the two things in the water. And that's another reason why no one thought it was going to be possible. Basically the reason why a 72 doesn't foil upwind is because you can't adjust the rudder. So if you could increase the lift on your rudder upwind, I think there'd be a good chance you could foil upwind and then when you go to bear away you take the lift off the rudder and you can foil downwind. The reason why everyone's so concerned about this whole foiling and you know why is some teams doing a mission and why they weren't is the rule was always designed for the boats not to foil. Um, to, to basically foil safely and stably you need some kind of control system on the board. So you need to be able to rake the boards back and forward or have a trim tab on the back of the board just like the moth here. And the moth is a very simple system. We have the wand at the front and as the wand moves it changes how much lift you're getting. So it's very active. This flat just touches the water. So when you're in the water, the wand starts down here, flaps down. As the boat accelerates, the flap down gives you lift, and as it accelerates, it flies. Now instantly, the wand starts to come forward, and it stabilizes here, and eventually, the wand sits in a comfortable position, and the flap will sit in a nice, balanced position, and you'll rip along. Now the issue is, with a 72, you're not allowed to have active control. So the only way to control the boat while it's flying is to have a hydraulic ram which changes the boards. So basically we have people on the boat grinding all the time and the helmsman pushing buttons all the time to make it fly safely. Now the Kiwis were the first ones to work out that this was actually possible and that's why they've been ahead of the game. Now since you know we've learnt that everyone's been following them and Oracle's been doing it for a long time as well as Prada and we're the last team who are now in the race to catch up.